Welcome to today's SeafoodNews.com video, sponsored by the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute. Good morning. It's uh, Tuesday, June 25th. Our top story this morning is about Bumblebee's aggressive move into frozen seafood with its uh, super fresh line of uh, shrimp, tilapia, and salmon products. Uh, Bumblebee is going to spend $25 million in uh, advertising this uh, supermarket line. And this is really a huge amount. Uh, for example, uh, last year Bumblebee almost spent nothing on advertising on uh, media. And uh, the year before they spent less than $100,000. Uh, back in 2007, maybe they spent as much as $5 million. So this $25 million ad buy really represents a huge and aggressive uh, commitment by them to uh, jump into this space of uh, premium frozen seafood entrees. And we think it's um, noteworthy for two reasons. Uh, first, this is already an area where there's a lot of competition. Uh, companies like Highliner, Orca Bay, Trident, uh, many others all have uh, premium uh, fillet or ready meal type items that are aimed at more of an upscale seafood consumer. Uh, Bumble's, Bumblebee's research has shown that they're targeting a seafood consumer who already might eat fish and even cook fish themselves, but who wants a uh, upscale kind of uh, premium type of uh, dining experience, and they're not trying to sell them uh, just a breaded or battered fish. Um, the other reason why we think this is significant is because of the growth potential that seems to be uh, signaled here uh, by the intense competition and by Bumblebee's attempt to establish a brand. Uh, in their research, Bumblebee found that there are no uh, consumer brands that uh, really come to mind uh, on the part of customers when they think about frozen seafood entrees. So they say saw an opportunity to leverage uh, the brand recognition they already have with their tuna. The other thing that's interesting about this is that retail seafood is clearly an area where companies see seafood growth. Uh, retail seafood has, survived, has been done much better than uh, food service operators and, and throughout uh, the last few years when there's been economic problems and supply problems. Uh, and retail seems to be a growth driver in the seafood industry. So what we're seeing is more uh, complex, more sophisticated products, a greater product range. And Bumblebee's advertising, just as, as Darden's advertising tends to do, can also help lift the whole category as well as uh, Bumblebee's own products. Uh, I think it's a really uh, noteworthy move. And uh, Nantucket, Mass., this is John Sackton. Today's SeafoodNews.com video was brought to you by the Alaska Seafood Marketing Institute. Alaska has been protecting wild and sustainable seafood for generations and adheres to the most recognized and internationally accepted set of guidelines written by the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization. For recipes and additional information, visit WildAlaskaFlavor.com.